Hello, Adolfo from Portainer here. In this video, I will show you how to enable the Edge Compute feature of Portainer and how to manage Edge devices with this feature. Please check the first video of this how-to where I demonstrated how to add endpoint tags and how to add Edge devices to a Portainer instance by deploying the Edge agent. The link of the first video is here up on the right-hand corner. Um, and um, I just went ahead and added six more devices. So. Um, Let's log into my container instance, and you will see I have seven devices in total. But I added different tags to these devices. So I have, um, for all the devices that are x86 devices, I added the proper x86 architecture tag. And I have one ARM64 that I added the ARM64 tag and the Prometheus um, image tag to it. Okay, so let's uh, enable the Edge Compute feature of Portainer. You just have to click on Settings and go down to Edge Compute. Click on the Enable Edge Compute feature button. Click on Save Settings, and you will see a new submenu showing up here on the left-hand side of your Portainer menu. We have Edge Groups, Edge Stacks, and Edge Jobs. For this video, I'm only going to show Edge Groups and Edge Stacks. So let's start with Edge Groups. And edge groups is very interesting. So if you click on edge groups and click on add edge group, you have two ways of defining your groups. One is a static where you can simply add the machines that you want to a given group that you can name, for instance, um, uh, DB. Okay, so I want all the machines that have MySQL and Redis deployed to them and or dynamic. Dynamic is um, very versatile because all of the endpoints that have these tags that we are going to define here will be automatically added to this group. So if you add more endpoints, you just have to add the tags that you want to that endpoint. And if there is a dynamic group with this uh, tag associated to it, you don't need to manually add the endpoint to the group. So um, let's uh, make this more practical by showing how, how this works. So you have full match and partial match. So let's say I want a, okay, let's change it to metrics. Let's say I want a machine that has Prometheus um, and is up north. You will see that no devices or endpoints show up here because full match um, really defines endpoints that have to have these two uh, tags enabled. Now, if we go to partial match, we'll see that it's a partial match of the machines that have these uh, tags enabled to them. So I have two machines with Prometheus, one with North, and the other one with no geography, but with Prometheus associated to it. So the difference basically is that in full match, endpoints must match all tags, and partial match, endpoints may have any of the tags. Okay, so I've added metrics um, because I want machines that will run Prometheus, but I also want to make sure they're also in the North uh, Geography tag. I can add the Edge group. And now I see three machines in the Edge group. Um, let's add another Edge group, let's say for a specific architecture machines, Edge x86. Uh, dynamic again, let's go to x86. So all the machines that are in this architecture group with this given tag are part of this group. Um, for instance, you might have images that only run on this specific architecture. You could also have tags for operating systems, for instance. So you have images that only run on Windows um, operating system. Um, so now you see the importance of having these tags that I mentioned on my previous video. Uh, I want another edge group for, um, for endpoints that have the south tag. So I'll go to dynamic. And it must full match the tag south. And I want one for north. But let's say I want north full match. And one machine shows up at edge point. Um, I want uh, another edge group for, I don't know, DB. So all the machines that are running uh, Redis and MySQL. 
And because I don't see anything in full match, I can select partial match. And then I see endpoints that have both images deployed on these uh, endpoints. Okay. So you see you have a mix and match of edge groups that are based on tags that we defined when we added these endpoints that I showed on my first video. Okay. So let's go to stats. So I'm going to add two stacks, one for a database, uh, MySQL, and the other one for a metrics engine, uh, Prometheus. So let's add uh, MySQL. I have four ways of doing this um, by the web editor, uh, by uploading a Docker Compose YAML file, by downloading the Docker Compose YAML file from a GitHub or compatible repository, or by selecting a a predefined templates that I will show in another video how we can add to our edge stacks. I'm going to choose web editor. I'm going to paste my Docker Compose file here, call it SQL. And I want to deploy this uh, on the endpoints that are under the edge group. Okay. For the stack. And here I see a table that shows me the status of this deployment. Blue is acknowledgement, green is if it's a successful deployment, and red if it's failed deployment. So here we see uh, two endpoints acknowledging the deployment. Uh, one is successful, and now two are successful. Okay, so um, let's check the edge group. And yes, under north we have two endpoints. So yeah, that was successful. Let's add another stack for... Um, Prometheus. Prometheus. I'm going to add my Docker Compose file here at the web editor. And I want to enable this um, stack in the edge group metrics. To deploy the stack. And again, as in the previous example, we're going to see the status of the deployment of the stack on these endpoints. Very soon, um, we should see, yes, okay, successful on two endpoints. But let's say I want to also add another um, endpoint to this group so that the stack is deployed also to the endpoints on uh, the north tag. Uh, if I type in north, you will see I don't have any endpoints with both Prometheus and north tags attached to it. So all I'll have to do is click on partial match. And now I have all the um, endpoints that have Prometheus and North tags attached to it. Click edge group, go to edge stack. And soon we'll see if this is also successfully deployed on machines on the uh, North uh, tab. And there you go. Now we have three endpoints uh, with uh, the successful deployment of Prometheus. Okay, so uh, in my opinion, Edge Compute is extremely powerful. It's an amazing feature of Pertainer. We saw here how to add Edge groups and how to manage Edge stacks on these groups. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, stay tuned for our next how-to. Thank you very much.